Shifting our focus to Sri Lanka, where the Sri Lankan President, Gotabaya Rajapaksa, has appointed a 13-member task force to study the implementation of the concept of one country, one law, and further prepare a draft act. Now, remember, one country, one law was one of the central planks of Rajapaksa's election platforms in 2019 that claimed the personal laws being abolished and one general law being applied to all communities. Now, the task force appointed by President Rajapaksa through a special gazette is being headed by a hardline Buddhist monk who is a symbol of anti-Muslim hatred in the country. The hardliner, who has been made the head of the task force, has been accused of inciting violence against the Muslim community in Sri Lanka. In 2018, he was convicted and given a six-year jail term for contempt of court over his conduct during a court hearing regarding the case of a missing journalist. Now, the monk has been driving a hardline nationalist stance in Sri Lanka for Sinhala Buddhist rule. Meanwhile, the task force, which consists of 13 members, also comprises four Muslim scholars. However, representation of minority Tamils has still not been allowed. Sole duty of the task force is to make a study of the implementation of the concept of one country, one law within Sri Lanka by further preparing a draft act. Secondly, it needs to study the draft acts and amendments that have already been prepared by the Ministry of Justice in relation to the subject of one country, one law. Now, apart from this, the task force will need to submit monthly reports to President Rajapaksa on its progress, the final report of which needs to be submitted by the 28th of February 2022. Our correspondent, Asunia Tora, sent us this report. President Gotabe Rajapaksa today via an extraordinary gazette as per Article 33 of the Sri Lankan Constitution appointed a presidential task force to look into the formulation of a one country, one law rule. Now, what's interesting is the person heading this specific presidential task force is Venerable Galagodate Nyanasarathera, who himself is known to be a very hardline monk here in the country and who himself was given presidential pardon on charges of contempt of court by then president Maitri Pala Sirisena in 2019. So the reports of this presidential task force is due before the 28th of February and already a lot of criticism and eyebrows have been raised here in the country regarding the formulation of this specific presidential task force, especially the person heading it. Reporting from Colombo for We On World Is One, I'm Dasuni Thalva. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.